Hello? Hello, my ass, you dirty piece of shit. What are you doing with my phone? That's property of the U.S. government. I'm not trying to hear that, you liar. You lied about everything. Me, you, feelings, love, family, children. Why should I believe this is a government phone? And why would I even care? You hurt me deep. In a way no one should ever be hurt. Maybe I'll hurt you the same by fucking up your little contract. Every number on the phone belongs to a high-ranking official in the United States Department of Defense. Each of the ranking officials has an individual password to verify the security, validity, and integrity of the call. If any of these words are mispronounced or omitted, some real serious people with nasty dispositions will show up wherever you are. They will huff and puff and blow your door down, literally. My suggestion to you is to tell me the location of my phone, or down will come baby. Cradle and all. Are you threatening our baby? Excuse me, my baby, over a phone? You big and bad, Mr. Football? Come and get it. I got something for you, too. Bring your ass and see what happens to you. We're going to handle this one way or the other. You bad? Come to my house and see what happens to you. Would you like anything? No, I'm fine. Let's just get this over with. I'm listening. Family man. <laughs> I'm glad you find all this funny. But I have to be honest with you. I really didn't expect any of this to happen. What, you getting caught? Caught? Are you serious? Caught is a guy who cares. When you go looking for things, you find things. I hope you found what you were looking for. So how long have you been married? <sighs> What's that matter to you? One day, a hundred years, uh, it's all the same. It's all the same? Listen, let's get this baby situation straight. I don't know what you're expecting, but this doesn't end happily ever after. You didn't believe you would just walk off into the sunset, did you? It was exactly what I believed. You led me to believe. I mean, one second, we're celebrating our engagement, and then the next... You were celebrating an engagement. I never said anything about an engagement. I never said anything about marriage. I gave you a ring as a token of appreciation. Nothing more, nothing less. You came to that conclusion on your own. You dirty dog. You played with my emotions. You used me all this time, painted this BS picture of being Mr. Perfect, and you're phonier than a $3 bill. You disgust me. You're less than scum. You're less than a man. Less than human, for that blah, matter. Blah, blah, blah. Freaking blah. Are you going to get this abortion or what? Let me call your wife and ask her what I should do. I could care less. You think calling her up would change anything? All you'll do is add two more kids on the fatherless list, like that one right there. I'll hit you where it hurts you, bastard. I'll smear your name so bad nobody will want to do business with your sorry ass. I'll tell everybody about your two-timing, womanizing, fake, two-faced ways. If you were dying of thirst, I wouldn't even piss in your mouth. Do I look worried in the least? If my reputation is ruined, what happens to yours, Miss White House Press Chick? I mean, you are the chick I was running around on my wife with. You are the side piece that got knocked up. So what does that do for your career, your life? Me? I work behind a terminal. I offer cybersecurity and tactical data mining services for the United States of America. I do it well and I do it cheap. Do you really think... They would care if I knocked up a little eye candy with no connections. Hmm? So that's what it comes to. Am I so easily replaced? <laughs> what is this, 20 questions? I came over to iron this situation out and get my phone not to be asked a million damn questions. <laughs>